Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow. So, in yesterday's episode, you know, we played through a damsel route. And at the very, very, very end of the story, there was a binary option. And I took the option that I felt made the most sense considering everything we've been through up to that point, right? But... I extremely hesitated between the two, and so I think today, what I want to do is try to retrace my steps and take on a path that other course. option. And, and so in order path, to do this, uh, I'm going to try, cabin, as, as best as I can, to like, to slay her. yes, uh, oh man. While I appreciate the mental exercise... So I'm going to try to recreate my set. Like, I didn't, like, look back my, in my footage or something or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to try, like I said, to to to, to retrace my steps so that we can get back to that decision. There is a chance that I am not able to accurately uh, do that. Yeah, I remember this. Like, there's a chance I might miss up on a way there, in which case, fine, we're getting a new route. There's also a chance that the game has systems in place to stop you from, like, retracing your steps in that way. But, um... But, yes. We'll see what happens, basically. If there are any changes, way up the short we'll see wall. what happens. She will lie. Mm-hmm. Interior attack It's not letting me select... Wait a second. That's interesting. I don't get the option. Okay, there's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. I do not have the option. Oh, there are systems in place. Bring the blade down to strike at the princess's heart. Well, she is still experiencing betrayal, but it's not coming directly from me. But she's fast. She ducks to the floor. Your I wonder if one of my decision was too different. Slaying her won't be easy now that she's free. Oh, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder if I messed up somewhere. 
We could have gotten out of here together. Were you just lying to me this whole time? Yes and no. Come over you. But if I have to kill you, then I'll kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? Oh, I know you don't. She pounced with the same <laughs> ferocity she used to tear through her arm. Uh huh. But you have oh, jeez. You raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. It's not enough to stop her. She grew you fangs. Feel her claws in your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sinew you with ease. Man, she looks completely unhinged in a really, really cool way. You collapse to the floor, your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. She stares down at your ravaged form, eyes shining in the darkness, dress stained in red as her blood and yours both seep into the fabric. If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, it will kill her before she can reach the outside world. Okay, well, you know, I was wondering about that. It can't just end like this. Oh, right? don't worry, it won't. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry. But Look at that. Look at the whiteness in her irises. Everything goes dark. And you die. So where are we now? The witch! Unexpected! The okay. Okay. And at the end of that path is a Okay. Cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Witches are super cool. You're here to slay her. If you don't so it's not like it's like I said like it's not it's not the absolute betrayal I was hoping for but hey it still opened up a new path so but yeah so there are system in places to prevent you from spinning your wheels basically okay hmm I'm gonna take this route People don't die twice. You the hero is the now afraid. I think she'd be capable of killing someone as skilled and courageous as yourself. Oh no. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know what? That's a good point. Brilliant. We need to keep our close to our chest, and I'm not sure we can trust him. Yeah, that's totally who I was embodying with my plan of betrayal. The game, no, the game gets it. You know I can hear you. <laughs> it's a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Bit of the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. I kind of like him for now, immediately. Uh, 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 I'm curious to know what happens if we do that. No, I am embodying the opportunist. He's afraid, but he wants to do something. So he's just going to ask about different it. Questions. Oh, shoot. Oh, fine, I'll indulge you. I asked that last time, you. didn't I? Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me. Uh, maybe it's going to be a bit different. I forget. You died last time, which probably only happened I don't have a because skip, you didn't so. listen to me. We were just weighing our options in a morally ambiguous situation. You can't blame us for weighing our options. Oh, it's going to be different because opportunist. Yeah, he's going to say I can things. If you failed to slay the he's part of the conversation. You did. So great. Congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, "Oh, what's the point of doing anything?" I never want it. I for don't. That, no. It sounds to me like you're making I never want to ask a dangerous that. assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. So it's a what variance of, of last there time. Any consequences. We were killed by the princess, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. That's because we're special. Yes, we don't but get in consequences. This purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you in Last time I mentioned my theory that maybe it's a series of consecutive loops, but then I remembered later in the day, no, wait, about, about the, the fractal letter. cabins. What do you think happened that implies it's all happening at once. But maybe it's like a time crunch. Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? 
Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told to you? To be fair, she might have bled to death, and that might have That's ended things. That's a very good point. This princess character seems like a lot of trouble, and if you think about it, actually slaying her probably breaks us out of this cycle. Okay, right? interesting. We don't want to be stuck here forever. So the opportunist wants to go with it. You're laying it on a little thick, aren't you? Laying it on a little thick? What are you talking about? I'm sharing Or he's opinions. bad. Yeah, maybe he is just kind of honeying up the narrator. Matters, I don't know. But almost everyone seems to be on the same page. So whenever you're ready, you can stop dawdling, get to the cabin, and save the world. See, now that we're several layers in, it's harder to just take the story for what it is. Now I feel like I am prone to thinking within these layers. Thinking about, like, the meta narrature. Let's just be quick about it. Like the the meta nature of uh, the story. This is fair. She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head. But I, I think like that's, cabin, that's way in, by design. Like you're gonna have a more fresh, raw sort of absorption of the story on your first run. All right, well, I mean, Great. that's basically what I want to know. The whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. It has not been ruined yet here. A warning before you go. I still further. cannot skip because opportunists will have things to say. She will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Don't worry, I think we've taken that lesson to heart at this point. You can trust us to get the job done. Alright, lots of options. Hello, cabin. The interior oh. of the cabin is a mess of twisted wood. Look at that! It a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happened to resemble a room. Oh, that's a cool the look. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. No. If we can, we're still gonna try to charm her out and get her at the last minute. Mirror? Different? Yeah, all of that is different, so we're just, no we're blade. just going right in. Leaving it behind didn't work out so well for us last time. Now don't worry, it's cool. It'll always be here if we need it. Exactly. Sure, that was also true last time and we still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. Like, going in with a visible weapon, like, that's asking for trouble. We're still... We're, st we're trying to sneak our way into her death. The mirror disappeared. The door to the basement creaks open. Revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth. This is below. really cool. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor waiting to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing I mean, her a favor. It just smells a bit earthy. That's a bit extreme, her voice narrator. Skitters up from below. Skitters. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. I'm here to apologize. Ah. Hello. I recognize that voice <laughs> as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've it's done. It's not too late to say that I was mind controlled. See? She knows us. Is this enough for you to believe what we've been saying? Maybe, but you shouldn't let that cloud your judgment. She's just a princess. As long as you remember that and remain focused, slaying her will be easy. Easy in italics. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. So I'm hoping to kinda do. <sighs> you can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. 
Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? <laughs> or do you just want to hear yourself talk? He wants to make sure people hear what he has to say. That is how you can accurately describe you that need type of to people. Stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do. I mean, with honestly, the this is this is pretty awkward. Just kind of having a sweet conversation with myself on the stairs while she's like over there. Fine. Fine. You're the boss. <laughs> Thank oh man, you she looks the feral. She has a tail. Room below. Like, she actually just, like, has a flat-out tail. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid yeah. the thick roots. She's like a, you know, yeah. An animal backed up in a corner, but, you know, you get, it, it, it does feel... Like, I'm looking at this scene without any context, and, you know, that's what it reads to me as betrayal. I, I got I got it. And there you are, once again seeming to offer a helping face. hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? She's acting like she already knows you. That's right. I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. I want to apologize. That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. The person is, the way he talks, sounds so much like a person I know in real life. So, you don't really have an interest, <laughs> do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. You fought us on it back in the woods. That was when the only perspectives we had were yours and mine. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Let's chat her up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. Yeah, sorry. My brain is talking to me. Uh... So you're not mentioning how I was mind controlled last time. came to me with empty hands last time, too. But that didn't mean you hadn't been plotting something nasty all along. What you did showed me as much. A knife appeared out of thin air. But we didn't Girl. plot anything. We just made an informed decision based on the information we had at the time. I think you're both making perfectly valid points. Sure, we didn't plot anything, but it's easy to see how she might think we did. That's fair, actually. I'm just... Ooh, apologize. Smart. Let's apologize. Just Get us back. Don't right don't foot. add ifs and buts. Just that's how you apologize. You just apologize. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. Well, if you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. Just because I'll never trust you doesn't mean I won't use you to get what I want. Well, that's pretty upfront. The cabin lets prying little beasts like you come as you please, but it insists I stay where I am. If I'm to leave, I'm to leave with you, and you alone. Okay. Oh, of course. They're nothing to me. All right. The princess grins as the chains fall from her. <laughs> no, yeah, that's canon. She could have gotten out of those. Words, <laughs> <but> that's <laughs> a woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. 
This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. Yeah, let's go. Yes, let's. Let us. Let us. BLT. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. I love her crown. So her crown changes with every route. Like, I didn't say it out loud, because uh, it's normally really well melded, like, in her design. But the fact that here it's just twigs. <laughs> it's so good. She has, like, more of a muzzle. She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. Oh no, we can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. Nope, we're showing she trust. Who leads and who follows? We're working together here. Well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together, but that doesn't mean we have to trust her. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. You're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot. Oh, be she is being extremely like you know unapologetically cagey. <laughs> but if you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. We're going. That's right. You're the one who's going yep. first. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you, watching every single thing you do. That's exactly what I'm worried about. That's fine. Well, it's fine. It's fine. You step onto the stairs and begin your ascent from the basement. The princess follows close on your heels, perhaps even a little closer than you'd like. You're only saying that because you want us to feel nervous. Yeah, honestly, you're not helping, narrator. I do want those things, but I want them for a good reason. I don't need you to trust me for my sake, because I already know that I'm right. This can we walk Whoops, sorry. Up the I didn't stairs? mean to interrupt them. That's the smarter idea. She can't sneak in and attack if we're facing her. No, nope, we're going. We're walking normally. No. The stairs are a bunch of overgrown roots. You'll trip and hurt yourself. But there we go. Is Thank you. As you both continue the climb, and in no time at all, the upstairs of the cabin is within reach. Isn't that a relief? We're fine. Nothing happened. You're not even going to wait until you're through that <laughs> door to. <pry> <laughs> why did you just say that? I think we know why. You feel something dig into your shoulder, sharp and piercing. The princess clawing at you and pulling you down with her full weight. Fair enough. Together you tumble back down the uneven stairs, your body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots, until finally you both separate with a bone-shaking thud against the basement floor. You feel something pop. Yeah, I do pop. The princess lands against Whoa. the far wall, gasping as she struggles to recover from the impact. Well, she really messed up then. What an idiot. Be Just careful. Emotion, trying to get a hold of yourself. <laughs> she grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively <laughs> as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. Then again, she is kind of unkillable, so I guess she'll be fine. Wait, why won't we be getting up? I think our- well, you heard that pop. I'm afraid your back is broken. Yeah. One unlucky fall is all it takes, really, and you had several. I, I think- I feel like, Hero, you would have noticed this. You know what? I'll say it. That sucks. I don't like having a broken back. We were going to help her. Why? Why did she do that? I mean, you know why. It's what I would have done. Have you considered not being like <laughs> of course, that's what keeps us alive. And yet here we are, paralyzed and stuck with someone who hates us in the basement of a remote. Uh, for what it's worth, I don't think we're going to be here very long. You must have known this was coming. The arrogance of turning your back to me after everything you've done. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just say it to her outright. Oh, I broke your back, did I? You were the one who started this little game. 
You were the one who chose spite and violence. I mean, that's true. Like, she is correct. If not for your betrayal, I could have had my freedom a lifetime ago. She's aware of that. Oh, man. So I'm thinking that had I betrayed her at the end of Damsel, it would have led to this state anyways. And I think the game sort of let me take a little shortcut. Because the story follows the same. But I'm the victor now. And that means I get to select my prize. If only I could decide which is better. Do I kill you with my own hands? Or do I let you suffer the way you decided to let me suffer? Maybe I'll do a bit of both. I don't, I don't think you can do both. See, this is why <laughs> I wanted her to go first. I had this whole little scheme planned. Where once she'd passed by the table upstairs, I'd have said, now pick up the blade and stab well, her see, in the back. That was my plan too, but it was like after like a hug. Look, look, I've experienced this before. And then it's you'd fine. say something like, wow, that's an amazing idea that I never saw coming. Thanks for looking out for us. And then you would have done it and we wouldn't be stuck down here with a broken back. There's just one problem with that. And what's that? She was clearly planning to betray us. And if she was in front of us, she would have gotten to the blade first. Ugh, you're right, aren't you? I thought this whole thing was ironclad, <laughs> but really it was doomed from the start, wasn't it? The princess is broken uh, as she tries to get up. Oh, she broke her back too? Oh, oh, oh. so she's not as bad as us. Oh, that's not going to stop her, though. It seems you're not the only one who's broken. Wait, are we both just... <laughs> oh no! It seems that way. <laughs> but look on the bright side. With all this chaos, you may no. have actually managed to deliver a lethal wound. <laughs> the world could be saved after all. We're going to die together. Isn't that a lovely treat? I wonder how long it'll take. Maybe I'll get to watch the worms lick your bones clean. I mean, you're going to be pretty bored after a hot minute. Is that really what's going to happen? Wait, no, wait! Zebra space is encroaching. Hello? Are you still there? What huh. Next? No, we're gone. alone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel... cold. Whoop! I feel, yeah, interesting. Okay, didn't expect this to end here. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Okay, so you're not remembering this. No, because it's the, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. If he thinks it's bad, I'm with him. Huh. Okay. If you say so. I tend to just outright lie to them. I trust you. But it's because I don't want to fight them. Finally. We're going. <laughs> oh, it's probably mean. It's probably mean. Up. Hey. Oh, yeah, I am not full of uh, vines this time, but I'm very skinny. Long quiet once again. Where a, a cabin could be. But instead, it looks like a bundle of There's hair. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I'm curious to see what it means for us to know it. A world beyond this eternity, you're saying, huh? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Oh, that's fun. Ooh. 
No, their minds are empty, existent, but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces? So she has voices too. Us. Perhaps you were on the cusp of yours. Oh. If I did, I would already be awake. Fair enough. This one is hope marred by bitterness. She could see the end of the tunnel, and the door was closed on her. She will make for a righteous and weathered heart. Do not mourn her. She is finally on the other side. So we're almost done. All right. All right. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you.